Hi guys, this is an installation video for Phoenix Natural EMB. Now, if you have not seen my showcase for that mod, you can click on the link here and go and watch that video. But I can tell you that at the time of making this installation video, this mod has actually already been updated and has been improved in, in a few places actually. Um, one of them which I've been majorly impressed with is the sunlight. So just know when you look at that video, the sunlight is now a little bit more dramatic, a little bit more impressive. However, the video will give you a good idea of what to expect from this EMB. Okay, so first things first, let's download all the files that we're going to need. And if you go along to the Phoenix Natural ENB page at Nexus, the two files you're going to need are the Phoenix Natural EMB, the latest version, and download that manually. I'm downloading it to my desktop. And you're also going to need PNENB fixes. Okay, download that manually as well. Next, you're actually going to need the d3d9.dll file from the ENB mod and you can usually get this at enbdev.com. If you look on the Phoenix Natural ENB installation page, he has very, very detailed instructions and he does provide a link to the correct ENB version. However, very often these versions will disappear because the mod author, um, Boris, will correct some bug or improve something and he will remove an old version. And for example, at the moment, he has removed this one. This does not exist. Uh, there is a newer version, 2.5. Um, in that case, what you have to do is make a decision. Do you go along to his site, remove this part of the, the link, um, and what I usually do is go along to <laughs> news, then download um, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, and then find the nearest version that is close or later than the one listed here. And as you can see, this is 0 0.246 and you could download a 0 uh, 0 0.250 or even the latest one if you want. However, you should understand that when mod authors correct their presets, they do correct it for a certain version. Now, the difference between 0 0.246 and 0 0.25 may be a minimal and they may work well together. In fact, that's what I do. However, to be absolutely sure, you could also click this mirror that the Phoenix Natural ENB mod author provides, which does allow you to download the older version and use that. Uh, it's one of those things you are going to have to make that decision. Do you want to use the very latest ENB or do you want to play it safe and use a mirror of the one recommended by the mod author? This mod is updated relatively um, frequently. And so I'm expecting this to get updated reasonably soon. But then the ENB series DLL files get updated quite frequently as well. So bear that in mind when choosing which to use. And next, you are going to need the ENB helper DLL file. And you will find that, let me close this tab, you will find that linked here. So I'm going to open that in a new tab. And then I am going to download from here. And once all of the files have downloaded, the first one I'm going to deal with is the, PNB, the PNENB fixes file. That is the one that you're going to add with Nexus Mod Manager. If you open it, you'll see it contains an ESP file. That is the plugin required to fix certain issues. Go along to Add Mod from File in Nexus Mod Manager and select that file. Open and the rest will be automatic. And once the mod has been added to the mods tab, just activate it and it will install the plugin. Now you can use boss to sort out the load order. However, I know boss will place this right up at the top, right below Chesco's Frostfall. So that's where I'm going to place it. But you can use boss if you want to know for sure. So that's the plugin sorted out. Uh, this means I can now delete the fixes file. Now for the rest of the files, what I'm going to actually do, first of all, is extract them to my desktop using that option so that I have all of these files as 
boulders, it's a lot easier to work with them this way. And once those are done, I now have the three folders, I'm going to open up my Skyrim game folder. Now, this the game folder is not the data folder. Please understand that. The game folder is where you find the tesv.exe file. If you see something similar but it doesn't have .exe um, after it, it probably just means on your computer, your operating system is hiding known extensions, including this one. Don't worry about it. If you see TESV and this icon and Skyrim Launcher, um, you're probably, well, you are almost certainly in the right place. So that is my Skyrim game folder. Then I'm going to go into the Phoenix Natural ENB folder that I extracted, and I am going to go into this one to Skyrim folder and select absolutely everything, Control C or right click and copy, go along to the Skyrim game folder, right click and paste. Now, if it says overwriting a file because you've got an older version of an ENB, just click yes, yes to all. You'll want all of these files in the state they are. Once you've done that, you can actually delete that folder if you want. From the ENB series folder, you're going to go to the wrapper version and you're going to select the D3, D9 DLL only, right click and copy or control C and paste that into the Skyrim folder as well. And then once again, you can actually delete that folder as well. And finally, go along to the ENB helper folder, select the ENB helper.dll, right click, copy, and this time, Inside your game folder, go along to ENB series. There should be a folder ENB series that you just copied across. Open that and paste that into there. You can then close that folder and in fact delete it. You now have all of the files in the correct place. There are a few other things you need to do though. There are a few files you're going to need to edit, including the ENB local dot ini this ini file now to know which settings you need to change there is a utility and there is a link to this utility on the phoenix enb page uh, i will also put a link down below if you open this in a new tab if you want you need to select your operating system i use 64-bit select your video card make nvidia for me and the video memory you have one gigabyte in my case well i actually have three so that is the one then show settings now these settings need to be set in enb local .ini, the ini file so i'm going to right click and i'm going to edit this with notepad plus plus you can edit it with notepad if you want it's completely up to you and then i'm going to go along to the section marked memory and i'm going to make sure all of these values are the same so for example expand system memory x64 true already set reduce system memory usage true set disable driver memory manager false there we go already set disable preload to vram already false enable unsafe memory hacks false and reserved memory size megabytes 256 already set correctly so the default uh, enb local dot ini file is actually set exactly as i need it so i don't need to change anything but do check if this is true for you this is pretty important okay we're not so far from the end now next thing to do is go along to the skyrim launcher and run this um, go along to options and make sure you turn off anti-aliasing and anisotropic filtering make sure those two are off there is also a note on the page uh, that basically instructs you to check that if you've been using something like nvidia control panel catalyst control center or something like NVIDIA inspector to force anti-aliasing, the filtering and so on, that you go along and make those either application controlled or off. I'm expecting that if you have played with these settings, you know what you are doing and you will be able to follow these instructions yourself. If you have had someone set those settings for you, you probably need to go and get them and ask them to change it for you. I am not going to be showing you the ins and outs of tweaking NVIDIA at that level, not in this video anyway.
And finally, now that we've got all that out of the way, we have one last file to edit, and that is your skyrimprefs.ini file. And you will find that in a document. My games, usually. Skyrim, there you go. The skyrimprefs.ini. Um, I'm going to right click and open with Notepad++, but again, you can use Notepad if you want. It's not a problem. Uh, I do recommend Notepad++. Now, the settings you're looking for are all highlighted here in pink. Just Control C or right click and copy. Go along to the editor and type Control F and you should get something that allows you to find. Paste that in and find. Make sure it is set to 1. Do the same for all of these. Make sure they are all one. The five of them are listed here. Now, I can also tell you that on the web page, Phoenix does in fact suggest you do this last after you have changed the Skyrim launcher settings because occasionally when you run Skyrim launcher, it does reset your Skyrim prefs. Uh, I've not seen that on my system to. to to get it to reset that, I normally have to do something wrong in the Skyrim prefs itself. However, this is very good advice. Uh, set, use the Skyrim launcher to change the settings and then edit Skyrim prefs. Make sure all of these values. This last one is especially important. This is one that people sometimes forget for some odd reason. Make sure that is one. That is very important. And that is it. You now have Phoenix Naturally NB installed on your system. And that is it for this video. I hope it explained the installation process well enough and I hope you found it helpful. I look forward to seeing you guys next time and until then, as always, have fun.